It's story time! Story time with Mr. Moo! Carl couldn't be here today. He ate too much Easter candy. He has a tummy ache. Today's story is The Night Before Easter. Twas the night before Easter, just before dawn, that a creature was stirring out of the lawn. Our baskets were set on the table with care in hopes that the Easter Bunny soon would be there. Sister and I were tucked snug in our beds while visions of jelly beans danced in our heads. Then out in the barn, the hens made such a clatter I sprang from my bed to see what was the matter. When what to my curious eyes should appear, but a big fuzzy rabbit with a crook in his ear. He walked on two legs, which I thought was quite funny. No rabbit could do that, except Easter Bunny. He sniffed at a pansy, a tulip, a rose, jumped over a shovel, a rake, and a hose. Then up to our house, in just a few hops, he came bearing chocolates and striped lollipops. As I sat on the stairs, not making a sound, that swift, dapper bunny sprang in with a bound. His soft fur was spotless from his head to his toe. His vest was all checkered, his tie in a bow. His eyes, how they sparkled. His whiskers, how merry. His tail was like cotton. His nose, like a berry. He made not a sound, shh, but went straight to his treasure. Filled up our baskets, adding more for good measure. Chocolates and chicks and candy galore spilled from our baskets and onto the floor. And just when I thought that the bunny was done, he picked out some eggs, looking over each one. He carefully hid them on couches and chairs, the mantel, the bookshelf, and under the stairs. When our rooster crowed, he turned with a start. He wiggled his nose, then went to his cart. He sprang from the house with a single bound and bounced down the street without making a sound. I read his note as he hopped, hopped away. Happy Easter to all and to all a great day. Happy Easter! Hey!